Hey streamers, are you still using a boring old chat box for your stream? What if I told you that your chat could look a little something like this? Look at them go! They just pop in at like random points in the screen. It's great and there's a whole lot of features that I need to tell you about. Okay, first thing, this will work for any streaming software that you can add a browser source into. This includes OBS, Streamlabs OBS, XSplit, and more. Furthermore, I made this specifically for Twitch streams, but it might also be able to work for YouTube, Facebook, and Trovo. However, it is untested on those, and some of the features are Twitch specific. All right, so let's get into it. When you first open the editor, it will look something like this. Before we go into the settings, I do want to point out that you can move around and resize the widget, place it wherever on the screen that you want, and the chat bubbles will only appear in that portion of the screen. The first setting is the preview setting. So this will just be so you can send a test message and see it appear in here. You can spam it to make a lot of messages appear, but now you can see that the messages will only appear in this area. You can also set a specific message type, like if you want it to only display highlighted messages and a custom message, like if I want to just have it be high. And now all the messages will only be shown like that. All right, next we have the bubble area setting. So this is just something that you can toggle to really visually see where the bubbles will appear. This will help to show in OBS the actual region in which your chat bubbles will appear. And then you can also set the space between the widget edge and the border here as to where it will appear in if you want to mess with that. Next is the bot filters. So here you can put in the names of all the bots that you want to not show up as chat bubbles. And you can also put in the prefixes to ignore it's like chat commands that start with exclamation mark so that none of those messages will appear either. Next, we have user filters so that you can determine specifically what kind of users will have chat bubbles appear for them. So you could make it so that not everyone has chat bubbles and you could make it so that it's just subscribers only will have chat bubbles. You can also put in a list of users so that only they will get chat bubbles, maybe as some kind of reward just for them. Next, let's move on to message filters. So we can toggle it so that only emote messages will show. So that means like if the message only has emotes, then only chat bubbles will show for those messages. You can also make it so that only highlighted messages will show as, you know, just a reward for using channel points. You can make it so that only specific phrases will show up, such as like if you put in hype. Now, only if a message has just the word hype, then that will show up. Next, we have minimum messages. This means that a user must send this many messages before chat bubbles will actually be made for their messages. So I made this to prevent troll messages because people who send in troll messages will usually just send in one or two messages and then leave or usually get banned. Um, so you can set this to something like three and so that you know, those few messages won't actually appear on the stream. You can also set a limit for the chat bubbles so that you have one per second or maybe one per five seconds, just so that it doesn't get too spammy or cluttered. You also have the option of having the chat bubbles only show right after a raid happens. So if we set this to something like 30, then the chat bubbles will only appear for about 30 seconds after a raid happens, which is an ample enough amount of time for a bunch of raid messages to appear as like creating hype. Then you have the basic text styles settings. So you can set your fonts from a bunch of different Google fonts or specify a custom font that's on your computer. And you can also change the font size. For the bubble styles, you can change the message max size. You can enable dark mode. You can change the animation type to something more subtle like a fade. You can also make it so that the highlighted messages aren't rainbow slash me is just normal instead of italics. But let us show you what it looks like with dark mode and a fade animation. 
So we go up to preview, send a bunch of test messages, then you have a nice fade animation and a nice dark background for every chat message. For timing, you can show how long a chat bubble will last on screen. 10 seconds is good enough for anyone in chat to be able to read it. And then a delay before visible. This helps so that there is time to delete a message before the message appears. So if you set this to something like five seconds, then your mods have time to delete that message in that five seconds before it actually appears on the screen. If it is deleted, then it won't show up. Lastly, you can upload a sound effect that will play for every message that shows up. So that was Dynamic Chapels. Hope you love it. Enjoy.